Looking for an entry level or budget friendly way to hang your web camera or microphone while you stream to Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer? The newer desktop clamp adjustable suspension boom arm is going to be one of the best upgrades you can make for your stream and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks and today I'm bringing you a review on the newer boom arm. But if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. So as you get more and more comfortable with streaming, you're probably going to want to start making upgrades to your stream and one of the best ways to do that is hanging your microphone so there's less echoey sounds or hanging your webcam so you can get better angles that represent you on your stream. And the easiest way to do that is with the budget friendly, newer scissor suspension boom arm. This boom arm is great and I've used it for a number of years to hold any of my Logitech C920 or 22 cameras out there. Can also hold a microphone up to 4.4 pounds. So make sure you check the weight on your microphone before you buy a budget friendly like this, but it'll generally hold mostly everything out there has a nice desktop clamp here. This way you can put it for a wide variety of needs. They also sell this version with a rotating base model. Put a link in the description below so you can check that out. They also make this version with XR, XLR cable adapters that go all the way up from the head down to the base in case you need to use it for things like going into your mixer or amplifier or anything along those lines. This is one of the bud, best budget friendly scissor boom arms that I've found. Works perfect for most web cameras out there. If you're not sure if it's gonna work for you, make sure you look on the Amazon links I have listed below and it'll have some reviews and questions out there. But generally most people out there have a very lightweight camera. If you're using a DSLR, most likely you won't be able to use something like this unless you're shooting on like an SL2 because that's a very light camera. But if you're gonna mount anything to this, make sure you buy the appropriate end cap for it. Now, when you look at the bolts, they're gonna come in different diameters. Make sure if you're getting one for like a Logitech, that's a very small bolt end thread. So make sure you take a look at which ones you need. Um, if you're gonna get a microphone, they're generally thick and fatter. They have adapters and different bolts that you need. Again, I'll put all these in the links in the description below. So make sure you check that out. If you need for a particular type, I'll put everything down there. I'll take care of it for you. But this is so nice. I use these all the time for when I do my art streams to hang my camera in particular places so that way people can see what I'm doing. Or if you're gonna mic up and you don't want your mic to be against a wall or against your table because it's gonna be echoing and billowing sounds around, this will help negate a lot of those issues. So if you guys are looking for a really good beginner and entry level scissor boom suspension arm out there, take a look at the newer one. I think you'll be really happy with it. Now there are some other models out there, like I said, the rotating base, or if you need the XLR, or if you need a thicker or fatter one to hold more weight, you can take a look at the links in the description below. I'll, I'll put all those there for all of the wide variety of needs that you have out there. And if you wanna kick it up a notch, there's a few other brands out there. Probably the upper higher end would be like the road rotating mic ones. Uh, those boom arms are great and they're smooth if you really want to go into those, but they're kind of like five times the price of this bad boy right here. These generally go for between, if they're on sale, somewhere between $12 and $20 and they're well worth it. So I recommend picking up one of these if you can, but I'll put a link in the description below for all the Rode microphone ones as well. Now, just a few bro notes out there. If you're gonna use a boom arm for your microphone, you may wanna invest in a cradle, which will help negate a lot of vibrations and sounds if you accidentally hit your boom arm or whatever surface it's clamped down to. For example, like your desk, if you hit it with your knees or maybe your elbows or you push really hard down, the vibration could feed back into the microphone. If you're gonna use it for your webcam, again, be considerate about where you place your camera clamp area because if it's gonna to be to your desk, and again, if you shake it, it could add a lot of vibration to the camera itself, which is gonna make it very annoying to watch you in your stream. And again, for a Brono on cameras, think about the angles. Now that you've added a lot of this mobility to move your camera around, consider what makes you look good on your stream. Generally, high up and a little hanging down is probably gonna be best for you. But play around with the angles. That's the nice thing about having a boom arm. There you go. There's a budget-friendly, easy entry-level 
boom suspension arm that you guys can get today. Now, like I said, it's not the only one out there. In fact, if you know of one that you like more or better or budget friendly, feel free to leave it in the comments below and help the community members out there grow. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a nice thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you wanna keep up with me and all of my social media, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you wanna help support this channel and help it grow, make sure you follow me on Twitch by following and subscribing there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back real soon with the next stream support video. Take care all, peace.